This is Code Practices with InfoPulse experts. Today, we are talking about the Pi Test, the software designed to execute tests reliably and manage test results. Number 1. Pi Test searches for test files by the name pattern. File name should start from test underscore or ends with underscore test dot pi. Number 2. All test function names must start from test underscore. Let's create our very first test. In tests folder, we create file test underscore first. In this file, we create the function test underscore ultimate underscore answer, and here we will put an assertion that 42 equals 42. You can see that the PyCharm identifies the function as a test and puts this green run button to run it. One click, and there's the result. Another way to run a test, use a terminal. This way will be used by continuous integration systems. Just type pytest command and it will find and run all tests. In case we need to debug a test, put a breakpoint, right click on the right button and select debug. Here we can see current call stack and execute some code right during execution if we need to. Please consider, if your code generates an exception or assertion is failed, test execution will be stopped. So, try to avoid adding some code after the assertion. For cleanup, it is better to use fixtures. If you are wondering what the hell fixture is, hit the subscribe button to not miss it. Also, your likes and comments are welcomed and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.